And this is another video we got going on. This time we are going out of the country. I have with me my mom and, and Lily, Lily and, and my aunt coming right over here. <laughs> so basically this trip consists of a full week in Mexico. Uh, we're doing something different. Um, this time what we're gonna do is instead of flying out of the States, we're gonna drive, uh, park our car somewhere in TJ, cross the bridge into the airport, fly out tonight and be able to just enjoy whatever Mexico uh, has to offer. We'll be going to somewhere near uh, Cancun. So we're talking about um, uh, Chichen Itza, Playa del Carmen. And so we're gonna be trying to get everything. We got a couple things, some adventures, some zip lining, uh, hopefully some more water stuff to do. So just uh, stay tuned. We've made it to San Isidro, which is uh, the city right before the border. And uh, we needed, uh, well, my aunt needed to change some money. So we're currently at, right behind me, is a place where you can uh, change money before crossing the border. Interesting thing is, from this spot where we are now, we can see two TJ. So I'll try to show you guys that right there. Let's see if I can see it in the distance. Right there, over there in the background, that mountain is TJ. So. We see that's basically where we're going. We're actually, well, yeah, we're going to TJ. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to be jumping back on the freeway a little bit north. And then from there, we're going to go to uh, Cross Border Express, where we will walk across the border and then straight into the airport and be able to go from there. So, I see. Hello. <laughs> Okay, so here's the lowdown on what's going on. So we got to where we're going to cross, which is right behind me. Um, and so you kind of check your bags, um, print your tickets, but it's not the airport per se. Uh, the little, how can I say this, hiccup we crossed was the fact that uh, this airline actually weighs your carry-on luggage. So therefore your carry-on luggage to combine should not weigh more than 10 kilos. If you do, then you basically have to pay for it. So my family uh, fortunately was able to find a way to accommodate all our uh, carry-on baggage, but our friends that are going with us, they had accommodated each carry-on to be 10 kilos. So now we're kind of stuck trying to figure out how we can do that without having to pay extra money. So haven't crossed yet. Good thing our flight is not for another three hours but still uh, something that we just did not did expect at all. I mean, I didn't expect that because I mean, flying out of the States is one thing and flying from a different country, I guess the way we're doing it is a different thing. So I don't know, I mean, at least we're squared away. I know they're gonna get squared away too and then we can finally take off uh, when it's time. Officially, we are going, now we're gonna start crossing over into Mexico. So here we have some of the, our people right there crossing up there again I don't know how long this walk is across I've been told Billy you said it's about what 20 minutes? No, 40 minutes 40 minute walk so let's get our steps in right I feel like that'd be a good thing so um, everything was taken care of with our carry-on bags uh, we were able to pay our crossing beforehand so now it's just straight to the airport here in TJ Let me explain what's going on. We were supposed to have a van uh, set up for us once we got to the airport, or once we got there. Uh, we're currently in the state of Yucatan in the city of Merida. 
is where we're at, uh, airport. Anyways, the van for some reason is not ready. Um, the van was gonna take all eight of us, it's not ready, whatever, so they gave us two cars for now and then tomorrow before we head out to the other side of um, part of Mexico, we will be, um, be given a van, hopefully. If not, it looks like I'm gonna be driving all over Mexico. And it's funny, because I told some of you guys, I said, I'm not driving to Mexico, but first day here, a couple hours in, and it looks like I'll be driving in Mexico. So we'll see. Right now we're gonna drive about an hour out to my friend Edgar's uh, sister's house, uh, just to probably have some lunch, because it is about nine, um, and then we'll see how it goes. So it looks like I'm driving a Versa. This is the car I'm gonna be driving for now. Edgar's gonna be driving a Chevy. Um, and that's how it looks like it's gonna be for the next 24 hours. We shall see. There's another hiccup on the trip. Okay, another one. What is it? Yeah, we didn't get our van. We'll get it tomorrow. Hopefully. Yeah, cross <laughs> our fingers. And that's what I was saying earlier is we were supposed to get a van, but now we're... Yeah, yeah but we yeah, got the like two a, cars. Yeah. We got the two cars. Yeah. At least we have transportation. Yes, right? I mean. <laughs> I can honestly say, I do not know where I'm at. <laughs> I've been driving with this kind of scenery for the past probably 45 minutes. Or maybe an hour. But I can tell you guys that on my left, there's water right on, passing that shrubbery. On my right, there's water passing that shrubbery. So, if I end up in the swamp lakes of Florida from Mexico, I will be sure to send you guys the route to get there so you don't have to take a plane. Because <laughs> I honestly don't know where we're going. But I guess it's all part of the adventure, right? I believe this is where we are coming. I believe so. I, and and I, the reality of it is, is I don't have any service out here. My dad says that Verizon works out here, but I've tried and it doesn't work. So I can't honestly say I know where I'm at. I mean, I have a general sense. I'm by the coast, but I don't know where I'm at. So I'm gonna have to find a map and then I'll probably just show a picture of it later. But I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> As I said before, I don't know where we're at. Where's Lily? Lily, come here. Lily. Where are we? What is this place called? It's called Sin Santul. Sin Santul. Okay, so that was a sign I showed you guys earlier. I don't know this place. And me neither. Sin Santul. Sin Santul. Okay, I, I, I'll put it there so you guys can. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Okay, so we're at Edgar's sister's house. Um, we're gonna have some lunch, but I wanna check in with my mom. How do you like this trip so far, as of yesterday until now? Well, for, for me, it's uh, amazing. Uh, I've I been in a new place, a place that i never been, uh, and everything that I've been for the first time is, is something nice for me. Uh, it's a beautiful view. Um, Merida, Yucatan has a beautiful place and beautiful beach and, yeah. and beautiful city yeah. and beautiful people too. Yeah. <laughs> and here we have today's lunch and it's called Panuchos. Um, it has beans, a little bit of salad, avocado, and then this is veggie meat. But normally they say that they put chicken uh, or pork. Uh, on it, so obviously since we're vegetarian here, this is today's uh, meal, um, and then this is a sauce just made out of pure tomato. So my aunt is already digging into it. She's been hungry. My mom says it's already delicious, and I'm gonna give it a try myself. Food block. Oh. 
It has a little bit of hint of lemon. It's very delicious. What are you? No, te vas a lastimar. All right, I'm gonna try to jump on this thing. Come to the camera. Here we are. Edgar, doing a great job back there. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tip, uh, tip him later. <laughs> oh, we've made it back to Merida, uh, where we first flew in after going up the coast on the north side to a town that I will not pronounce, or I will try to pronounce, because I butchered it the first time. And this hotel uh, is beautiful. Um, this is only for this night, and then tomorrow we'll be heading to the Cancun, Playa del Carmen area. But let me just show you guys this area. I mean, beautiful, beautiful hotel. This is the room for tonight. Hello. You know, I mean, there's not uh, working AC, but if the room doesn't feel hot yet. <laughs> Hopefully uh, they can get it fixed because that's what they're working on right now. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Right now though, we are gonna get a dip, uh, go and dip in the pool for a little bit. I know my sister Rosie is very excited to get in the pool because that's what she's been wanting to do since we basically landed this morning. So. <laughs> A huge thunderstorm happening right now outside of the hotel. And it already knocked the power out twice. Uh, that Hyatt right there. And our hotel as well too, so. It's a pretty big storm. 